the skeletal system. The skeletal system is made up of bones and joints. These bones and joints form a structure called the skeleton. The major bones of skeletal system the skull, rib cage, the backbone or the spine, the hip bone, upper limbs, and lower limbs. With all of this, the skeletal system is known as the framework of the body. Why is that so? The skeletal system is the framework of the body because it builds a structure that supports the body to remain upright and also protects organs of the body. If you have to observe the bones of the skeletal system, you will observe that the bones have different shapes and sizes. Bones have different shapes and sizes because bones have different functions. Let us begin with the skull. Skull is a hollow and hard bone. A hollow bone is a bone that has a space inside to enclose delicate organ in the body. Skull is a hollow hard bone that encloses and protects the delicate organ in our head, which is the brain. The skull also gives shape to the head. The rounded forehead, pointed nose, square jaw, high cheekbones, they are shaped by the skull. The rib cage. Rib cage is a hollow and curved bone. Rib cage is made up of curved bones called ribs. The rib cage is hollow to enclose and protect the delicate organs inside our chest, the lungs, and the heart. The backbone. Backbone or spine is also a hollow heart bone. Backbone encloses and protects the delicate organ in our body, the spinal cord. Spinal cord is one of the most delicate organs in the body because it is the pathway for messages sent by the brain to the body and from the body to the brain. Backbone is also a long and curved bone. Backbone is long to support and hold our head and keep our body up. Backbone is also curved to give flexibility and to support our body weight while doing different movements. Like this ballet dancer, as she does movements, her head is still in place, her body is still upright because of the backbone is supporting her body. The hip bone. Hip bone is an irregular shaped bone. Inside the hip bone, there's a spongy tissue called bone marrow where the blood cells are made. With this, one of the functions of the bones is to make blood for the body. The upper and lower limbs. Upper and lower limbs are straight and long bones. These are the bones that support and allow big movements of the body. The straight and long bones in the upper limbs support and control the movements of the shoulder, arm, forearm, and hand. While the straight long bones in the lower limbs support and control the movements of the hip, thigh, knee, leg, and foot. Bones are also mineral storage of the body because the minerals such as calcium and phosphorus are stored in the bones. To summarize, here are the parts and functions of the skeletal system.
the fan facts about booms. A baby has more bones than adult. Baby has three handed bones, while adult has two hundred six bones. It is because bones fuse together as they grow from a child to adult. Out of 206 bones in the skeletal system, one hand six of them make both of our hands and feet. 52 of them make both of our feet. And the 54 of them make both of our hands. The smallest and lightest bone is found inside the ear. It is called the stirrup. The stirrup bone is as small as a grain of rice. This time, the longest and strongest bone in the body is the femur, or our thigh bone. This bone makes up almost one-third of our height. A 5 feet tall man has about 1.6 feet long femur. Don't you know the end of the nose and ear do not have bones inside them? They have cartilage. It is lighter and flexible than bone. That's why they can be bent. After death, cartilage rots faster than bone. This is why the skull has no nose and ears.